Hey everybody, how's it going? Week six, our ISO and mobility day coming at us. I am gonna stick with my eight kilo kettlebell and I hope you have fun and enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and drop onto the ground. Take a small little warm up set, but then we'll we'll be able to hit it up pretty fast because nothing's too intense or too crazy. So just tuck your hips or your knees into the chest. I'm taking little tuck and release, tuck and release, and then hold, tuck your chin in, little shifts left and right. So have your right hip push away, then your left, right, and left, right, and left. Now just hug in your knees and make a little circle and then go the other direction. Perfect, extend one leg long toward the ground and the other one lift up and pull back toward your chest and then switch. Those hamstrings are tight from our work so far this week. So just keep that in mind, keep track of it and watch it. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and get our timer running. So we're gonna do our isometric tailbone tuck and then a pelvic rotation. All right, ready, set. Let's see, I'm gonna keep my timer close-ish and go. So you're gonna take your kettlebell, hold it back behind you just until you feel flexion through your upper back and your core. And then you're gonna tuck your tailbone barely up off the ground. So an isometric hold in the upper back you should feel your triceps, your shoulder girdle, and then your low abdominals. Nice, slow, flexed connections. Such a good way to start out, really waking up that core. <sighs> Time. Okay, set your bell down. Cross your ankle over your knee. Put your arms out wide. Rotate out to the side. So if your left foot is crossed over the right knee, you're going to rotate to the right. Just keep going back and forth, pushing your left shoulder into the ground. And then I'll tell you when to switch to the other side. Three, two, and one. Switch it up. Make sure you can see your left heel just outside your left hip. Push your right arm out away from you. These are a part of my little uh, pelvic alignment and back sacrum alignment routine, and I think they're really paying off in terms of my low back happiness. After this, we're gonna flip over hands and knees right now and go into our bear pose. Nice, big, spread open fingertips. Push into your thumb and first finger. If coming up off the knees does not work for you, then don't do it. You can stay on your hands and knees and focus on your transverse draw. So your transverse muscles are the front of the abdomen to the side. They're the ones you use when you cough or choke. <laughs> oh, you do that and you feel even more engagement. Pull the hands back toward your toes. Tighten up deep through the belly. Scorpion is coming up for a mobility. Tighten, tighten. Hands back towards your knees. Flexion through the trunk and torso. Deep interior core, your pelvic floor. Strong and flexed. Neutral spine. Lie on your belly. Put one arm out. Palm on the ground so my left arm is out. Kick your leg, your right leg up and over. See if you can get your right foot flat onto the ground. Hopefully you can rest your head. Just push your hips open. Nice stretch for the back. 
four, three, two, rotate in, other side. Put your right arm out, kick your left leg up and over. After this, we're gonna be in our Samson lunge. So we'll have an isometric lunge. We're gonna hold the kettlebell overhead. If that doesn't work for you, don't do it. You can hold your bell low if going overhead doesn't work. So if your right leg is forward, you're gonna hold the bell up with your left arm. All right, we're gonna do a full minute. Right leg forward, find your lunge position. So you can either rack your bell or hold it low or find your press. Tuck your tailbone under. Keep your hip flexor open. Lock the core, making sure to stay out of the low back. Lift nice and high through the chest, the shoulders, relax your neck. Find flexion through the thighs. Lots of burn is super good. And drop. Oof. All right. Open your right knee, your right leg. So you're on your left knee. And you're going to slide out. Then back. So the weight held underneath. It's going to kind of help you stay centered through the pelvis so that you're getting your hip open with the right pelvic alignment. Then we'll switch to our other side. Left leg will be forward. Right leg will be back. As far over as you can. Good, good. Core stays strong. Shoulders stay open. Chest lifted. Okay, and then we're on to the other side. So now, left leg forward, right leg back. Finding that pelvic tuck. Focus on your breath. Stay with me. Lock the core. Flex the legs. Keep your pelvis neutral, watching the core. Time. Whew. All right. Left leg opens out. Toes are at an angle. And then you slide over. Whatever each side has. Check in with that core. The upper body. Making sure you're pulling the knee open and back towards your pinky toe side of the foot. Check in with that core. Okay, after this, we're going back to the ground and we're going to do our ISO TB tucks. One more round of this stuff and then we'll move on for a second. Time. Okay, flip over, lie on your back, hold your bell ISO overhead. Tuck in tight through the belly. Small little tuck. So try to keep your legs 
neutral, or I'm sorry, uh, in the same angle. So your heels are not pulling away from your tailbone. That bell slowly comes in, doesn't it? Has a mind of its own. So when you release the hips down, the core does not relax. Scoop, scoop. You're using the abdomen to pull those knees in. Okay. Pelvic rotation. Cross your right ankle over the left knee. And then rotate. Put your arms out wide. So it's important to have your arms wide, palms on the ground, because that holds your upper body in the right position so that you have your rotation through that mid-back. You want to keep the upper back stable on the ground. Three, two, other direction. Make sure you can see that right heel, right outside your hip. So you're pushing your left knee away from you, away from the torso. You should feel that kind of nice stretch through the hip on that left side, through the low back, through the chest. Okay, we're going to be at our bare next time. Bear and scorpion. Building a little bit of sweat. If you have enough contractions and you're holding enough flexion, these isometric sets will definitely build heat and sweat. They're super nice on the joints. We're not going through crazy ranges of motion. We're just holding a held flexed set. Push into your thumb and first finger. Shins are parallel to the ground. Tighten under the rib cage. Pull the belly button in. Find those transverse muscles. Three, two, one. Okay, Scorpion. Arms are out. Kick your right leg up. Twist over. You can pull your right foot in toward your left hip, your left thigh, and then let the knee kind of open out and away from you. Roll the shoulders back. Other side. So you're getting your chest stretched here, your bicep on that extended right arm, and then your back and pelvis, good for the hips. Next up, we'll have that Samson lunge. Starting with your left leg forward first this time. Here we go. Yes. Left leg forward. Find that low, low lunge. Lots of core. Lots of leg. Traction between your toe and your heel. Your neck is relaxed, your back is engaged, you're grabbing the muscle behind your armpit. Time. Oh. Open that left leg out. Find that balance. The weight holds right underneath. So hopefully, 
got my shoulders and hips lined up. My back is neutral. Thighs are still flexed in, still working. Brace the core, but open the hips, making sure that pelvis is staying neutral to the shoulders, right? So it's just your hips that are moving in that joint. Three, two, and one. All right, other arm, other leg. I don't like, not my knee. There we go, right over my heel. And then I tuck that hip. Keeping traction, pulling front heel back. Pre-fatigue is real from the other side. Tucking the tailbone, staying out of the compression of the low back. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> we that one. So I get a little further on this side because I don't have the pressure on my knee that I do on the other side, and that's okay. We can get. That hip open, another way. Plus here, even though it doesn't have the drive back, it's getting that same external rotation out. Neutral spine, strong core. Time. Okay, now we get to do our counted set. Just a little bit more focused abs. We still will have a little bit of mobility. So we're gonna start with our TikTok planks and then go to our side dips. Only 10 of these, lock and load one. If this doesn't work for you, you can just hold a plank or you go hands and knees and you just tighten your shoulder to hip. Your mobility might not allow for this much rotation either. That's fine. Okay. So I'll show you because we're going into a side plank too. So if you're on your hands and knees, you just accordion hinge, pull that shoulder to hip. Otherwise, you join me up. Three, four, five, six. Trying to keep the hips level. Other side. Ooh. Stack up. You need flexion and support through the legs. Working from the muscles underneath your armpit. Nine, 10. Back to the first side. If you're on your hands and knees, stay on your hands and knees. Tuck down and rotate back. Two, three, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Can't 
can't get spread apart on that one. Tuck your knee in. Four. Eight. <sighs> Those are not easy. Okay. Body saw. <sighs> and hand taps. Start behind your elbows. Again, maybe you need to do a bear uh, cat cow or hold your plank. Drop your hips. Make sure your hips stay in line with the shoulders. Flex your glutes to help hold support for the low back. Three. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Okay, just set your plank. Tap your arms, trying not to rotate the hips. Tuck your tailbone. Don't let your low back start to sag. Eight. Nine. All right, back extensions. These should feel nice on the abs. Contract your core. Be gentle on your low back. Push four with your triceps. Lift the chest. Okay, in and out, and then a happy baby. And then, one more ISO set. Scoop through the belly. If you need to just hold a pelvic tuck here, totally fine. You do not have to push in and out. You can also do one leg instead of both. Scooping that low belly so you can push your low back into the ground, and it takes work, focus, and time. So if your low back cannot round into the ground, or at least close, then do one leg, or don't put your legs so low to the ground. Nine, 10. Okay. Happy baby, grab outside of your heels, outside of your feet, rock your baby side to side. <sighs> nice work. A fun set, very different. Okay. Back at it. I'm gonna go back into our time sets. Grab your kettlebell, ready, set, and go. Tailbone, tuck with an ISO, hold on that upper back. The key here is to really control the drop back to the ground. So you're not just letting it plop back. Watch your overhead hold. I definitely struggle. I start pulling it in. Deep, deep interior core. Focus on your scoop. You're round. This is how you build that ability 
to round, drop your weight, pelvic rotation, to uh, drop your low back into the ground. Rotate out and down. Pull that right shoulder into the ground if you're rotating left. Oh, feels so good. Okay, one more rotation here. And then let's go to the other side. Your right foot drops, left foot up, rotate over. Okay, coming up, we're gonna have our bear pose. So we don't come back around to these exercises. So focus in time. Oh, you guys, the core is for real right now. Feels like it's been working. Pelvic floor, pelvic floor, that's where we get a lot of interior core. It's where it starts. Hands pull back toward the knees, find traction. Make sure you're not sagging in your low back. Three seconds. Okay, scorpion. Right arm out, left leg up, kick it over. Oh, see if you can rest your head on the ground. Use your left arm to kind of push you over. You can also take your left arm up and behind. I kind of like that extra little push. Ooh, back, back pop. Three, two, switch, other side. Kick that right leg up and over. That weight of your right knee kind of just pulling you back. Okay, we have our lovely Samson lunges coming up. Iso lunge, iso hold. All right, on the gray, left leg forward first. You need to come up, then you come up, and then you go back down. Or drop, and then we lift. Either way. Try to focus on your breath. Try to stay settled mentally. Time. Okay, left foot out. Slide over. Focus your core. Chest tall. Open those hips. Knees line up with the toes. Focus in, see what you're feeling. Make sure you're not swaying in the low back. So you might need just a gentle tailbone tuck under. Fine. 
All right, right leg forward, second side. <laughs> Love it. Love. Oh, I almost didn't make it. Holy cow. Sheesh. Check in. Shoulders. Back. Hips. So your kettlebell is practically like a plumb bob. Holding center. So that's kind of the concept and what happens here. The weight kind of helps you dig in a little deeper, but it also can help bring some thought and help align the pelvis. Time. Oh. Okay, nice job. Okay, we are going to get our cow face. So left knee is already on the ground, cross your right knee behind it, then open up your feet away from one another, then sit back and down as low as you can go, stacking your knees up. Reach the arms forward. You should feel your glute get a nice stretch. Your back. Take some deep breaths. Take a little twist to the right. Take a little twist to the left. And then roll yourself up. Go ahead and take your Right knee in the front, left knee to the back, and then open your feet apart, sit down, reaching forward. Notice the differences side to side. Find your breath. Okay, pull yourself forward. Bring your right leg forward outside your mat. Rock onto the outside, the outer edge of your foot so the knee is opening out. You're gonna hold flexion or support on the left hand and then let the left hip drop to the ground. Bring your right arm up and back. Reach through the chest. Then go ahead and see if you can grab your back foot. Push. Your foot into hand, get that quad and your chest nice and open. Okay, release and we'll pigeon. Right foot across to the left side of the mat, flex your foot. Remember the important part here is to keep your pelvis squared off. So pull your right hip back and the left hip forward. Mm. Okay, push up, let's hit that other side. <clears throat> right leg will come forward. Oh, kidding, left leg. Rock to the outer edge of the left foot. Plant onto your right hand, 
and then pull your left arm up and around. Make adjustments, decide what feels good for your body. We're giving back right now. See if you can grab your back foot with your left hand. Opening through the chest, pushing your foot into the hand so that you get that active stretch. All right, you can release and we'll take our left foot to the right side of the mat. Work on finding routine. Building from whatever you already have set, your time frame for the morning, what you do and how you prepare in the morning really, really dictates what the rest of your day looks like. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure most of you are working hard to maintain a healthy lifestyle, build and maintain. Don't try to do it all at once. The healthiest, most put together, very conscious, health conscious people out there have spent years and decades putting things, putting their routines together, fine tuning it, adjusting when something doesn't work. Maybe what used to work isn't working anymore. Our lives are wonderfully fluid and changing. So always take that into account. All right, come to the center. Let's grab a butterfly stretch and then you can have your day. All right, great job. I will see you again tomorrow. We'll hit up our legs and back.